Well, you can see the, the aft end part here is quite a bit bigger than I thought in that to like fish or hang out back here. I mean, this is a good six feet from the edge of this to the back. Obviously, the swim platform is gone. It's been crushed. This ledge here, hold on a second. All right, we're recording again. All right, so this ledge that we were talking about is 29 inches high. And when I'm standing off the ledge, I mean, this thing's just above my head right here. But I mean, you know, six foot person could fit under it. Um, what I do like, plenty of room all the way around. And it is like we thought, you come up here for the stairs and this is open above just like we thought outside shower come into the first one like we thought straight into the galley and uh so the galley's a little small but that's not a big deal it does have the opening windows in the galley which is a big deal uh, a little pass through to here gas stove which i like Obviously, just needs to be cleaned up. All the floors are real hardwood, solid, one inch oak. All of the counters, all the cabinets, all the doors, drawers, uh, solid teak. Back in the day, I'm sure they were very, very well made. And it's the same with all of them. Uh, all of the cabinets and cabinetry. It was pretty darn impressive, to be honest with you. But, you can see how the white all needs to be painted, topped off. But all the wood trim is there. No holes, no water damage, nothing. Um, this space, if you're wondering how wide it is, so from that wall to here, we're over, uh, it's about 12 feet from there, from the passageway to the kitchen, to the front of that counter is 12 feet by 12 feet. Which doesn't sound big, but that's actually pretty big, pretty big. And then uh, coming down those front stairs we talked about, turns, spiral staircase down. Uh, there's a little walkway back in the engine compartment. We'll go in there in a bit. Lots of little cabinets. All the floor panels pop up easily to get to the tanks and stuff below. First on the left is the head, sink, toilet, separate shower. Um, shower comes back with a little edge, porthole, air, lights on the top, little bench. And that, like you can tell, the countertops and all this has been replaced. That was all done, redone in the 90s, mid 90s. But again, you're back to looking at this, these teaks, all the wood, all of this is in very good shape and was top quality back in the day. Then you come back across the little tiny hallway in the first stateroom, two bunks, um, and a desk, a little storage compartment. Uh, the, some of the electrical wiring is up into here. Power comes in. Two opening ports in there, plus this that goes out to the deck. Again, these doors, solid one inch teak wood, very well made. All the latches are solid click hold air conditioning this one has hanging locker and four drawers underneath there um, I don't know what that is. this is fairly decent size sleeping area for a boat is this big and then all the doors have the latches latch keep them open come back into the hallway come up through the second door to another state state room if you will again you can, uh, you can 
can see it there. It just needs, it's dirty. It just the white needs to be cleaned and painted. And, uh, again, two bunks, seating area. This is the ceiling for the other room. Um, a little cabinet area thing. Four drawers, hanging locker. All the rooms have fans and lights that would all be replaced. Everything needs to be replaced. Air conditioning controls, light switch, fan. Uh, this one also has a second hanging locker slash storage cabinet where you can get to all the plumbing for the shower, lights, air conditioning vent. Uh, let's see what else. Four opening ports in here. That goes to the chain for the anchor, which is up front. But again, you see the ceiling, all a nice teak, solid teak. But again, this paneling in between needs to be cleaned up, repaired, painted, I don't know, something. And that's throughout the whole thing. All of it. But again, this teak would clean up very nice. Very, very nice. Um, so, forward stateroom, a little tiny hallway, second stateroom, one bath for both with a separate shower, toilet. And I'll come back to the engine room because you have no interest in that, but that's pretty cool back there. And then you come up, back up these stairs. Main cabin area. Again, back to that paneling, like I said, all over the place. That's not all over the place. It needs to be painted, repaired. Um, that was the only one that's flaking really bad. The other one's just seen kind of a dirt, it's like a mold on it. Again, just no one's touched it in six years. But again, if you look at, that's hard to tell with that glare. If you look at the windows, these windows don't open. So the four in here don't open, but they're big. You can see everywhere out. Front windows, obviously that teak needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, a little dark, can't see much of that. Okay. Back to that little passageway thing. You can see that wood needs to be cleaned up, painted. That goes down into the engine room. And then this goes into that back cabin. So we came in that front same door. Down into the master suite. Pretty steep stairs. It's missing a handrail right here. Now this is the room that was damaged in Katrina with water. A little bit anyways. And you can see it in the floor. All the other floor throughout the entire boat is a one inch solid oak hardwood floors. And it's here, but you can see where they got wet. And one of them is actually splitting over here. Um, as far as that, it's definitely a full full queen size bed. You gotta take measure it. Yeah, it's a good 82, 7 feet by, by 60 by 5 feet. So I don't know if that's a queen or not, but that's how big it is. 82 by 5. Full, four drawers on both sides, nightstands. Again, the teak, all the teak around the windows. All these open, these all open, open, open all the way around. So six opening ports. Problem is in here, this is where somebody tried to paint some of the wood. And they got some on the teak. I don't know if you can see that. They did a crappy job of the taping. Somebody tried to paint in here. Um, and then has this. Another big vent that goes out to that. See here up above. And its own bathroom inside. Again, all the everything in here. Uh, it seems to wipe off. It looks like it's just a mold bit dust. And I wiped some of that off. It's hard to tell. Another opening port. Um, cabinets. That one doesn't open right now. That one's have to work on that one. Separate shower. 
needs to be cleaned up. The door is filthy. But again, standard standard shower. But again, you look at the, the bed. It's got the four drawers all over. Plenty of storage. Amazing amount of storage. And again, the teeth all the way around. Very well done. Very nice. Of course, I'm walking with the camera, not looking through the camera. And then on the side of the master, it's got this little latch that holds the bathroom door. Um, but it's got this little vanity seating area, storage area thing. I'm worried about the electrical in this back part. The, the 220 stuff, the, or the 120 stuff, the normal voltage ones like that. I think all that would have to be replaced. A little drawer that comes up, mirror. Lights on the mirror, another thing here, but again, all solid teeth, very good shape, very clean. That one doesn't, that's the worst of the teeth that I've seen. Everything else is very clean, very nice. Again, four drawers over here, huge hanging lockers. Now this side over here, large hanging locker. The washer dryer combo is in here, and then just more storage and stuff and space. That is a door that goes into the engine room um, that you can't get to because the generator is there. Oh, that's where the generator goes. All right, back up the stairs. Now going back out before we came in. Uh, this handrail is missing, all the wood is bad, paint's bad, um, 